Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Pixelated Apollo. Thanks for stopping by and happy 4th of July to all my American friends out there. It's a day of drinking cheap beer, waving little plastic American flags, and shooting a ton of fireworks all made from China. Ah, it's the American dream. So to celebrate our independence, we are going to do a 1v1 fort battle between the United States and Great Britain. And speaking of independence, Great Britain here, the United Kingdom, recently gaining their independence June 23rd, 2016. No, I'm just kidding, guys. These are jokes. Please don't take this, you know, don't make this a political thing. But, you know, it's the internet. You guys are going to do that regardless. Just have some respectful conversations. That's all I ask. Anyways, uh, this is not, moving on, this is not a uh, scenario here, this is not like a historical battle, I guess this is just the United States trying to get rid of a strategic position that uh, Great Britain has in their control. And we've got a really cool wooden fort, look at this guys, this is awesome, I saw this and I was like, yes, this is gonna be it, this is where we do battle. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these armor comps, by the way, I am commanding Great Britain here, uh, I don't know yeah, I just really like Great Britain. I love the uniforms. I had to be Great Britain, even though I'm an I'm an American. But the, you know, whatever. Um, so United States, he is bringing lots of line infantry here. So a couple units of line infantry. Uh, he's got some Minute Men. Uh, they're called Minute Men because they only last minutes on the battlefield. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They, it, they're called Minute Men because they can get ready in a minute's notice in case there's an emergency or you know the British are coming or something like that. And then. Then he has some guards over here which look very terrifying and over here he has some light dragoons so pretty cool I think he also has more forces over here uh, I think he's got some artillery which is currently hidden for some reason he is also bringing some rockets one of the rules is that we have to bring one rocket you know that red glare we got to get the rockets in there uh, but that's pretty much the American force I think there I think there's some rifles too that are hidden in his army but you'll see them throughout the battle and then my army I've got three units of green jackets uh, leading uh, the front lines and then I have uh, some line infantry about four units of line infantry I've got two outside of the walls I want to put up a small defense outside I also have some light dragoons over here so it's gonna be the battle of light dragoons I've got a horse artillery uh, that's going to sit outside as well and then waiting in reserve I have my elite troops like my cold stream guards Oh man like I know I'm American but damn Great Britain you're looking good you're looking really good and then here's more line infantry I've got some grenadiers that are gonna hold uh, you know hold the, the town center up close and personal and then I've got some rocket troops generals bodyguard uh, some four inch mortar battery uh, to fire over the walls and then I've got the King's Royal Regiment of New York which is a really cool uh, really cool unit so let's go ahead and play this guys we are ready Okay, so here we go. It's gonna start off with some artillery firing at the uh, the United States position So I'm gonna try to take out as many as I can if we look at his formation here is really clumped up So this is actually pretty good. He's now moving up his rifles He's also got his 24 pounder artillery setting up as well It's not a great angle to my forces, but here comes the rockets not exactly a red glare. It's more of a, a white glare. <laughs> uh, but he's going to go ahead and charge forward his light dragoons. This is a very action-packed battle. It starts off right away. There's the red rockets. Fantastic. Uh, I'm charging up my lights, but I'm going to hold my ground here. I'm not going to be too worried about his calf. I think if I can get off a, g a good amount of shots, I can break his calf, which I am doing right here. So the green jackets, they are holding their ground, and they are stopping that American cav charge, and we wipe out his cav forces. Now he's got his rifles pushing forward, which the American long riflemen are really good. Uh, so I want to push forward my green jackets to engage him. It looks like he's going to fall back here and get behind the Minutemen. So I've got uh, my line infantry right behind my rifles. So I'm forming up. I'm giving them a tough stand right here. I know this is a small force. We are outnumbered, but we're not going to give up easily. Oh, these are mortars, by the way. That's why they're not red. Okay, derp. That's my bad. Uh, but we got a lot of artillery crashing down in the American lines. He's trying to form up his line infantry, getting them ready. The Minutemen, I believe, are going to be used as meat shields, which, you know, is it makes sense. They're a pretty cheap unit, but they're also pretty good for their price, I believe. I could be mistaken. 
Here comes some rockets coming in. Looks like he's going to try to focus down my artillery. It looks like he uh, he's done some damage over here. A lot of my uh, poor horses have been uh, slaughtered. So that's that's not great. But, you know, I'm not going to retreat this horse artillery. They're going to hold their ground. Oh, some friendly fire into my own men. you got to watch out for that. The hills are definitely not helping me right now. Here comes the, the uh, minute men. You can see the artillery shelling their position. Oh. There we go. They're firing in the back lines. Come on, Green Jackets. Oh, jeez. There goes the volley from the Minutemen. Let's look at the uh, the U.S. position here. See what they're seeing. Uh, gotta love the Minutemen and that voice crack. <laughs> the Minutemen. Such an iconic uh, unit of this war. And now he's pushing on the flank with his guards. Uh, oh, this is really, really bad for me. I just do not... I don't have enough troops to hold them back. So he's going to get ready and fire by rank. They are forming up. Fire by rank. Here we go. Here's more rockets coming in. Trying to fire down on the uh, U.S. position. I've got my line infantry preparing to uh, fire. Come on, men. We do not break. Hold. Let's see. These damn rebels. Disobedient to the crown. We fight for the colonists. The decent colonists who uh, are true to the crown, to the king. There we go. We're going to push forward some uh, line infantry here. My, my men are thinning, but we are doing heavy amounts of damage. See, what I'm trying to do here is I'm not necessarily trying to win, obviously, on the outer parts of my fort. I'm just trying to... Um, I'm just trying to get as much damage with my artillery, buy more time so I can shell him to death. Uh, my my uh, dragoons over here are forming up on the flank. I did do a charge into his skirmishers. You can see some of the dead horses here, uh, but I was not able to break them. So I'm going to go in for another charge to try to finish the job. Here we go, my light dragoons leading the way, showing these Americans how it's really done. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Look at them fly. Look at that. A uh, really good charge there. I'm also going for his artillery because it's been focusing down my artillery. There we go. Love it. Look at look at all the artillery. My men are really thinning over there. The uh, the guards have broken through my line infantry, and they are now firing at uh, what's left of my forces here. This is where I just I tell my men to get the heck out of there, save your own lives, get out, fall back. My green jackets are still going to hold for a little bit longer. There they go. Green jackets falling back. Artillery, though, is still shelling this position. And this is as far back as I'm going to retreat with these guys. They're not going back inside the fort, even though they definitely deserve to live and des you know deserve to be in the safety of the fort. I'm going to make them hold their ground. And, uh, you know, that's their duty, to defend the walls. Defend the walls. All right, so let's look at the uh, the damage done to the uh, U.S. forces here. We took we took out mostly Minutemen uh, forces here, which is not super great uh, because you know they're not that deadly. Uh, so he's been he's been doing a good job using his Minutemen as a meat shield. But we have done a lot of uh, damage to his line infantry as well. You can see a lot of uh, sli uh, just killed men over here. A lot of casualties. What I'm trying to say. Uh, but look at this charge here, guys. Look at those U.S. Uh, uniforms. God, I love them. I love them so much. All right, so he's charging forward. He's going to get ready to take the walls. He doesn't have artillery, so he can't punch open a hole in my walls. So he's going to have to uh, climb his way over the walls. And uh, I'm now repositioning my, uh, my rifles here, my green jackets. Moving up the line infantry for their final stand. Uh, on this side... Uh, some of my troops have returned from uh, routing. I did not know about it, so I don't move them for a, a little bit longer, but they do get back into the fight eventually. There we go. Rifles firing at the Minutemen. The Minutemen. Come on, line infantry. Get ready. They're almost in range. We hold against the American horde. Alright, so my, uh, my artillery about to switch the canister shot. It looks like some snow is falling to the ground. So this is a uh, winter time in the good old U.S. of A. Here comes more rockets coming in. Looks like he's going to try to focus down some of my troops up on these walls. Oh, and my ra oh, there's that canister shot, guys. There it is. I love it so much. Uh, my Minutemen are just getting, or not my Minutemen, his Minutemen <laughs> are getting ripped into pieces. Uh, I believe they are breaking. No, they're reforming. Look at that. The the morale on these guys are really impressive. 
Uh, so this is not good. He's also flanking with some uh, long riflemen over here, trying to take out the flank of my uh, my green jackets up on this hill. So I think we've done a good amount of damage. I'm really liking the start of this battle, uh, but it's really going to come down to the uh, the epic melee for the walls. Uh, but my my line infantry, they're staying crouched down. They're reloading, letting the second line get ready to fire. And over on this side, we do have, yes, men charging into melee. His guards are taking on my line infantry. So we got a pretty uh, epic melee fight here. But this is going to be pretty obvious who's going to win this fight. My men are just so depleted. They've already broken once. Oh, look at this. Look at... Oh, this guy's going to... Oh, tell... Is he going to get the kill? Oh, no. no. The duel continues. That was a cool animation right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Man, that guy just can't have any luck. He can't kill anyone. Uh, but let's see. Are we combat winning slightly? What? We are winning slightly? That doesn't make any sense. Wow, we're we're beating the guards. That's that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, he's flanking around with his uh, other unit of guards. He's now charging in the Minutemen into melee. Uh, canister shot still going to town. Let's see if we can get a couple more good hits before they take this uh, position out. Uh, but my line infantry back there, they are breaking. They're falling back. Come on, guys, quickly. Quickly. I'm trying to reform my green jacket so I can face some of his long riflemen. There we go. There we go. Let's see the point of view of the uh, U.S. forces here as they try to take out this artillery position. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. You see that good old canister shot taking out like five guys right there. It's ridiculous. Rockets still firing. It looks like my rockets are going after his rockets, or maybe they're going after the general Not really sure, but uh, the general is in danger. He needs to watch out for that I wasn't trying to go after his general. I don't really like sniping out the general unless I'm losing the battle um, But as of right now the battle seems pretty close and uh, I guess my rockets just have a mind of their own and they're trying to take out, uh, you know, sniping out generals. Uh, but here comes the guards. They're going to push on the flank. I've got my uh, King's Royal Regiment of New York uh, defending this side. They are now firing their muskets and the guards are getting ready. Oh, even artillery is shelling this position. So it's pretty close. It's like point blank artillery shots at these guards. The, uh, you know, the wall artillery firing down. Here comes the other unit of guards after that very intense melee against my line infantry. They're now uh, putting up the hooks there. They're going to climb up the ropes. Oh, there's another artillery shot. I love it. It looks so awesome. Very awesome. And he's also pushing his line infantry in the front line. So there's a pretty intense, uh, like a, you know, a line battle, I guess you could say. Oh, those rockets firing overhead. That looks so cool. All right, so... We're going to have a bit of a firefight here. Let's see the point of view of my guys. Oh, look at that. You can see the uh, the musket rounds hit the wood. And, you know, the wood shatters everywhere. That looks awesome. So here comes his men. It looks like he's going to finally charge in. He knows that he has a disadvantage if he just stands there and just tries to uh, use his rifles from a distance. Uh, his skirmishers are still uh, holding this flank firing trying to uh, snipe out as many of my uh, my line infantry as possible this is my cold stream guard they're gonna hold their ground looks like they're gonna get ready to take on a very depleted unit of line infantry look at this guys I charge out my grenadiers this is the epic charge of the great grenadiers I love it I didn't I didn't want to use them uh, passively I wanted to be really aggressive with them so I'm gonna go ahead and charge some of his line infantry while they're uh, busy uh, trying to scale up the walls there they go. There they go. And my other line infantry or grenadier infantry, I was trying to use the uh, the grenades, but I was like, you know what? Screw it. Just charge. Take out this uh, this line infantry while they are busy trying to take the walls. And oh, we took out his general. We took out his general with the rockets. So that's very unfortunate for him. That's looking pretty good for us. You know, the true powerful redcoats who are going to destroy this rebellion once and for all. We can see that my King's Royal Regiment of New York holding a lot holding the line against these guards. They're nice green coats. Oh he's throwing grenades up here. He's got his grenadiers. Yes. I love that. I love the grenades. So yeah, that's a really good use. Oh here comes another volley of grenades. Yes. Okay. So you gotta watch out for that. Definitely oh here comes another one. Oh my god, there's so many grenades. This is ridiculous. 
just wiping out my unit. I love that. That is so awesome. Good, good use of the grenades. So my men are trying to hold the best they can. Here comes another. It's just relentless. It's just never ending. Just volley after volley of grenades. I'm trying to use my artillery. Here comes another one. You gotta love that. Oh, that one missed. That one's gonna get up. Yep, that's gonna get a lot of his own men there. Uh, but the melee continues on over here. His guards are doing an excellent job. Uh, I do have my Coldstream guards uh, fighting with the Grenadiers. On this side, I'm about to throw my own grenades into the rifles with my Grenadiers and then charge them in into melee. I always thought that was epic, so I try to do that in Empire Napoleon. Got to use those grenades, then charge in. And it did work. We are breaking the rifles on this side. So my grenadiers are having a lot of success uh, firing and fighting at the flank of the American advance. The U.S. advance. So we got a pretty intense fight over here on the walls. U.S. forces holding, trying to protect the flank. While the rest of the reg uh, while the rest of the regiment is trying to fight for these walls. It looks like he's having most of his success over here. Most of his elite troops are fighting at these walls. Uh, my men are starting to break. I mean, they just got slaughtered by those grenadiers. So they're really not putting up the best defense. Uh, but they are buying me time. I still have a very healthy unit of, what is this, line infantry. So what I'm going to do is run them away from the walls and form them up right next to this flag here and try to fire at the troops fighting on the walls. So they're going to fire at the flank. So there they go. My poor regiment from New York. They are just getting slaughtered. And I'm sure these uh, rebel, force, or rebel troops here are very happy about that. Get out of New York. It's ours now. And uh, my Coldstream Guard are going to continue to hold this flank. Coldstream Guard, really, really good unit. Like I said earlier, it's my best line infantry, so I don't really see them breaking anytime soon. Here we go. I'm going to get my general out of there because we do have some uh, grenadiers trying to chase him down. Here comes my rifles. Come on, quickly form. This is our last stand right here. Right here, right now. Form up at the center. Get in position. Get ready to fire. Here we go. Come on, man. Here we go. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Oh, there we go. So good shots, and then they're going to fire by range. Beautiful. I love it. And uh, we're getting some good, good flanking fire on those U.S. forces. This battle is awfully close. The rockets are still firing at something. I don't know. What, I guess they're firing just to make the battle look cooler. I don't know. It looks like they're going to try... Oh my god, outside of the map, they're trying to take out retreating forces. That is a ridiculous uh, distance there. Uh, but more and more of my troops are breaking on these walls. U.S. forces charging in for the final charge of the battle. He's going to try to take out this position. And uh, this, is, this has been a great battle so far. We've got more forces coming down. He's got his guards that have been almost impossible to beat. So here they go. About to meet my men in a gruesome fight. For the existence of the colonies. Remember, men, we fight for the colonies. Those good, obedient colonists. <laughs> There's that epic charge. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty close one, guys. My Coldstream Guard still fighting against the line infantry up here. Uh, so I still have some grenadiers and stuff like that. They're, they're charging in. Lots of bayonets spamming everywhere in this close quarter fight. And uh, we can see the fight going on over here. We're kind of like forming around him. I don't know what my line infantry is doing here. Like their backs are turned to the enemy. Like please turn around, you rascals. And uh, now I'm charging in my artillery crew to go into melee. The good old artillery crew uniforms. And I'm also sending in my general to close the flank and surround the U.S. forces. It's a desperate time, desperate need for my general to join the battle. And we see the uh, United States here breaking from the fight. And uh, it looks like we are going to have victory. I also have... Oh, well, I had some grenadiers here doing the same thing that the, the U.S. Uh, forces were doing. They were throwing their grenades up on these walls and uh, killing some of the... the um, line infantry of the United States. Now that is going to be a victory for Great Britain, but as we all know in the real story, uh, America did achieve their independence. And uh, yeah, so, uh, it, but you know, of course they, they definitely lost some battles uh, during 
during the war and whatnot, obviously. Uh, but my opponent here, Garbage Compactor, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I did make an announcement on the Steam page that I was going to do a 2v2 fort battle, but unfortunately, you can only do 1v1s, which is pretty tragic. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am using a mod that improves my graphics. It seems like it works with other people who don't have the mod, but it crashes a lot when you are playing with people who don't have it. So it's probably best that you download it and play it with other people who are using the mod just for, you know, for it to be stable. Uh, there's a link in the description to the to the mod. It's really simple to install. Uh, you just uh, put it in your data folder. That's it. So let's look at these unit stats. Uh, the kills here, uh, Coldstream Guards getting the most kills, no surprise there. Also my King's Royal Regiment of New York getting 169 kills. Grenadier is doing pretty solid as well. Uh, my Horse Artillery getting 113. Uh, skirmishers all doing very well, uh, close to 100 for every single one. And uh, yeah, I mean, everyone did pretty well. My Light Dragoons, they did pretty bad. Uh, my Mortars didn't really do anything, but they looked epic, so that's something. And my Rockets, of course, didn't really kill anyone. But again, it looks really cool. So I hope you guys have a fun, safe 4th of July. Please, guys, be safe, have fun, fire some, uh, some, uh, some fireworks. And if you're not American, well, I hope you have a good day regardless. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.